Waluigi is one of the most beloved characters in the Mario series. Despite being a filler character who was solely created to be Wario's partner for doubles in Mario Tennis, the character's goofiness and charisma in the sports party games have captured many audiences' attention worldwide. His popularity has come to the point where one of the most recurring jokes in the Super Smash Bros. community is relating to when Waluigi will finally make it as a playable character in an installment. Despite the love, Nintendo has never given Waluigi his own game. He was an antagonist in the DDR game, but Luigi, Wario, heck, even Princess Peach have gotten multiple solo adventures before the beloved jokester despite his immense popularity. So it's very natural that a character fueled by fan love got a game by a fan. Enter Thunder Dragon, who had experience making Mario fan games before, like Toad Strikes Back, who developed today's subject, Psycho Waluigi. Psycho Waluigi is a 2D platformer where you defeat enemies and traverse levels, but there's a fun twist to the gameplay outside of jumping, as Waluigi has a partner made just for this game, the Psycho Iris. You control the Psycho Iris with the up and down arrows and use a button to make them pick up enemies and items to either be used as defense or as projectiles against other enemies. It's an enjoyable way to play it, even gets challenging at times, but why is what Waluigi on this quest. Well, the big upside down L finds himself in a new kingdom where Psycho Iris promised to assist Waluigi in taking over it. Every level ends with Waluigi overthrowing a royal in order to finish the level, and that doesn't sit right with General Hazel, who attempts to stop Waluigi and Psycho Iris from taking over her precious kingdom. However, at the end of the game, Psycho Iris betrays Waluigi, becoming the final boss of this title. Psycho Iris says they were just using him to lead up to the destruction of the kingdom, which Waluigi isn't happy with. He doesn't mind conquering the kingdom, but destroying it? No. Well, there's no glory to be had in that. The two villainous purple chums have had fun chemistry up to this point, so I do feel a bit bad when this breakup happens near the end. Either way, Psycho Waluigi is a fun take on what a Waluigi game could be. The Psycho Iris is not just a fun villain, but an enjoyable gameplay mechanic that helped differentiate Waluigi from Mario, Luigi, and even Wario's platformer escapades. Even if you're not normally into 2D Mario, I'd still recommend this game for how creative it is in both plotting and game design. Hell, the story and dialogue is written more in the line of the golden age of Mario RPGs than the usual platformer games, which further gives Psycho Waluigi its own identity compared to 2D Mario. Even if Waluigi never gets his own Nintendo published solo adventure, it's great to see the fan love for the character poured into such a great game that further cements Waluigi as one of the best characters in the Mario fans' hearts.